Hello everybody and welcome back to a wrap up of From the Helm. We have Kelly here with Marie Max Vacations. And Kelly, what do we have here in front of us today? Painkillers. So we... these are from the recipes that you sent in and it's my lucky day that I get to go through and taste test some it of is, these. It is your lucky day. Mm -hmm. So what we have here is four different variations of the painkillers that you guys sent in. So what we're gonna do, like Kelly was saying, she's gonna test each and every one and then give it a rating. Oh, okay. I'm Didn't kidding, I... you don't have to give it a rating, <laughs> okay. but all you have to do is just pretty much say, you know, what you think about it, what you like about it, and uh, we'll go from there. Good deal. So we'll start down here, and the special ingredient in this version is grape the soda. grape soda. And what is the name of this one? Anybody? The Fuzzy Rummer. This is the Fuzzy Rummer. Fuzzy Rummer. All right, go so for it. So are you gonna have any of this too? Uh, unfortunately, I cannot. Uh, that's the judge's rules, but uh, okay. we'll see what happens. The, now I have to say the That's an uh, interesting twist. That, yeah, uh, the color of this the one grape is very soda. interesting. I'm gonna have to say I I don't know that I love 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 the grape. Oh, uh, okay. Am I not able to say that? No, you can say whatever you want. <laughs> okay, well <laughs> it's it's good. It's just it's a little sweet for me. A little sweet. So the grape soda uh, apparently has uh, 45 grams of sugar in it. So I'm guessing that probably, probably attributes to the super sugary taste. <laughs> All right, the next one up. The Killer Mosa. Thank you very much for showing exactly what this one is called. And the Killer Mosa, the secret in this one is champagne. So there's a lot of really good things in it, but champagne is the number one thing. As you can see, we've garnished it with a pineapple wedge and an okay. orange. It's a little bit sweet, but it, it almost tastes like a little bit less sweet than I would have expected for a mimosa. Okay. It's refreshing. It's refreshing, so it's a perfect one, you know, on a Sunday afternoon or something like that. That works. Okay, cool. Let's continue onwards here. So this one is the Painkiller's Revenge. Ooh. So the Painkiller's Revenge is a spicy take on the painkiller. I've really been looking forward to this one ever since I saw that jalapeno. Okay, here we go. I like that. That is Excellent. really good. And the Painkiller's Revenge has jalapeno infused rum. So basically what you can do is you can take the rum, you can put some jalapenos in it, let it sit for a little while, or if you're in a rush, you can just crush some up or chop some up and put it in with the rum. And that's the way it goes. And then of course you have the cayenne pepper. So instead of the nutmeg, you can dash some cayenne pepper on top. I think this this might be one that I take with me after we wrap. Wow, we're not even uh, we're not even through all four, and I think we might have a potential winner. So, this one. Last but not least, we have the JVD cocktail. So this one is very interesting, and it's a little bit more um, what's the word um, professional, I would say. It has a bit of Campari in it, of all things. It's so. a pretty. It's a pretty color. I don't know if you can see how. This does look pretty professional. Excellent. Mm. That's, that's, that's a good sign. That's pretty good too. I'm gonna say that that's sweet. It does taste like something that you would take, you know, taste on U.S. Van Dyke. Mm -hmm. um, jalapeno is still probably my favorite if we're evaluating, but okay. solid, solid, uh, grouping here. So I'm sure you can't go wrong with any of these. And of course, if you just go to the Saudi dollar bar, you can get the original painkiller, which is uh, of course just uh, well known throughout the world and, and definitely the British Virgin Islands. So be sure to tune in from the helm. I'm sure we'll be speaking with Kelly and the Marie Max Vacations team again in the future. But and if you also want to provide your own recipes for future cocktails, uh, painkiller or otherwise, be sure to let us know in the comments on social media and we'll check them out. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you. Take it easy.